Hello guys, welcome to 2022. This is going to be my first YouTube tutorial video in 2022. And guess what? I'm pretty much excited. Why? Because I have a lot of things in stock for you guys. Yes. And this year, I plan to take this YouTube channel much, much more seriously. I haven't been able to do that, especially last year, due to the fact that I was in and out of various projects. But now I'm back to be able to share a whole lot of experience, uh, tutorials, tips and tricks and knowledge with you guys. I've been doing the little I can on my Facebook page and please don't forget to uh, check that out. So what are we going to look at today? Now today we are going to be looking at creating FAQs accordion with just HTML and CSS only. With just HTML and CSS. Yeah, you add that right. No JavaScript. No JavaScript at all. If you've been um, into web development for a while, you know that um, most likely whenever you want to create an accordion, you're going to make use of JavaScript for the interactivity, uh, which is all fine and well and pretty much as its own usage and everything but did you know you can just create with just html and style it out with um css only so we're going to um take a look at that the first time i discovered this i was pretty much wowed and i was happy because it gave me um more time as i could do this with just html and css without bothering about the javascript aspect of it all and i could style them up to make it as awesome as i need it to be this re um resulted in faster coding on my side and workflow so without any further ado let's take a sneak preview at what we're actually going to be working on and what we're actually going to be building okay so here is a quick demo of what we are building so we have our accordion here this is faq question one question two three four so i could click on it and it's going to reveal what is there and we can see okay it has a nice a soft um kind of sky blue background and also i could check the faq two and then three and then close back okay and this work pretty well so let's get started so i'm here in visual studio code and i've already opened up my folder so I'm going to click on a new file, create a new file, and I'm going to name this index.html. And then I'm also going to create a um, CSS style, uh, CSS file writer, and which is going to, I'm just going to use the default style.css. Okay, that works fine. So I'm back into my HTML file. I'm just going to create the basic templates, and then, okay change the title to HTML accordion all right so um, the first thing the second thing rather I'm going to do is I'm going to create a CSS link it to my CSS file which is style.css all right that works well now just to make sure that everything flows and work well I'm going to just right click on these and open we up with live server so in case um you don't have the extension i'm making use of an extension live server if i should click right here and then i search for live server okay so you're going to see the extension live server come up okay so this is the extension live server so it's going to help you with launching a local development server and all of that all of that all of that is pretty much easy to use so and you can just get it so it's going to basically open up the um html file on this particular port 5500 okay so if i should come here okay right here we have our file right here which works fine all right so the next thing i'm going to do where the magic is going to come from is basically in our um a particular html tag which is the details and the summary tag so basically i'm just going to create a, a div which is going to contain um most of so i'm going to create my details tag i'm going to have details and inside of this i'm going to add a summary tag so this is going to be the heading of the accordion so i'm going to add this is faq and then question one all right 
and then i'm going to just create a div tag right here div and then okay inside there's going to be a p tag and yeah i'm just going to um paste in some dummy text so i'm going to um use an extension i install which is lorem ipsum so i'm going to insert a paragraph so and that what that basically does is it inserts dummy text so the extension i opened it earlier which is lorem ipsum you can um use that it pretty much helps when you're working with project and you need to generate dummy data dummy text so that works now let's okay so we can see this now if i should click on this okay we can see it's showing our our content and this basically works this is basically what we need now click and you see we basically have our basic functionality here and if i should inspect this right click and then inspect okay we're going to inspect okay so we can see this is our summary tag right here and we can see that okay currently this particular div is ed and the paragraph tag so when we open this you can see it's going to add a particular attribute which is the details open whenever it's open when it is closed that's going to um be removed from the particular element all right that's working well okay let's add a particular heading which says this is our frequently asked questions and then we're going to add about five so let's just quickly do that so i'm going to add right here a div with a class of head so right here i'm going to add an h1 tag which is going to say frequently asked question all right so this works fine all i just want to do is duplicate this so i'm just going to copy all of these let's see copy this and then duplicate use your shift alt and then the downward arrow button okay so i'm going to do that do that do that until it's up to five times and then let's just change this to and i'm going to remove this last element here all right so let's save that and let's see how it looks like all right so this works fine one two three okay that's looking good that's looking good that's looking great so now let's add um into the second part of this particular tutorial and then we're going to add our styling make it look all nice and shiny all right let's get started okay so right here i'm inside of my css file so the first thing i want to do is the body i want to change the background color so i'm going to say body and then change the background color to let's see background color i'm going to change it to this color okay so it's kind of like a light gray and then i want to make sure this are in the center so i want to give it a maximum width of 600 pixels so i remember the faq body that is this body and this um um this div here and this class they all have their class attribute um they have their class attributes so this particular div um it has a class of head and class of body so i'm going to just target that and then dot faq and then body and then dot head okay so let's give it a max width of 600 pixels that works well and then we're going to add margin alt and let's see what we have so far all right so we have this okay starting to look good and then the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to come here dot faq body i'm going to target it and i'm going to add some attributes to it so the first thing i'm going to add is background color i'm going to add white okay now the next thing i'm going to add is border radius i'm going to add let's see 10 pixels should be okay and then the next thing i'm going to add is padding so i'm going to add padding and then let's see 30 pixels and 20 pixels 30 for top and bottom and then um left and right should be 20 let's see all right that's starting to look better 
I think my head, I'm going to make it centralized. So let me come here and then add and then let's see, make it centralized. So we're going to say text center, text align center. And then, all right, we're going to add a padding. So I'm going to add a padding of 20 pixels, zero pixels. So 20 for top and bottom and then zero for left and right. So that's basically what that translates to. All right, let's see. That works. Okay, that works fine. So the next thing I want to target is the summary tags. This summary tags here. So I'm just going to uh, use my summary tags. And what I think I want to add, the first, I want to add a background color. So background color, I'm going to add a kind of light blue. So I'm going to say F2, F2, F2. Okay, that works. And then I'm going to curve the edge is so border radius. I think 10 pixels should be well for me. And then margin of 15 pixels and zero pixels. Okay, so that means we are having margin up top and bottom 15 pixels and left and right would be zero pixels. So let's see what we have so far. All right, so this is um, making sense. We've added the margin to add a bit of space between all of these. All right, that works fine. So let's see. Another thing is whenever we over on. Another thing is whenever we over on this, we want to add a bit of okay. Um, change the cursor and to add a bit of um transition. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something like cursor and then pointer. All right, so let's see. Let's save that and then okay. Now that's changed the icon of uh, the cursor, which is fine, which is exactly what I actually want. All right, that's looking good. Now, next, let's actually do something, which is whenever this is opened, whenever this is opened, we want to actually add a particular, um, a particular change the background color so whenever this our um accordion this particular one is open we want to change the um background color so let's see the first thing i'm going to do is details select my detail stack and then summary now this works fine but then it's going to add for the details tag when it's closed and when it's open so to target when it's open remember it adds a particular attribute so that's the attribute we are going to use to target it so right here this particular details when we um inspect this so we can see that okay this particular details it is closed but whenever we open it so we are going to have this attribute so basically i'm just going to copy that attribute here copy it and then come back to my code editor and then just going to paste this here so basically what we are saying is that whenever this um add this details attribute is opened whenever it has this attribute open equals to this that's basically when we want this particular style to be applied okay so i'm going to change the background color background color to let's see um e Let's see which color. Let me just type the color. Okay, I think this should be okay. This should be okay. So let's save that and let's see what we basically have. Okay, so I'm going to bring this down. Now we can see that whenever any of which is basically okay what i want all right this is looking good now whenever we over on this i want the um the background color to also change all right so i'm just going to uh come here and then summary and then over and then i'm going to do something like background color is going to be um let's see i'm still going to make use of this particular color so copy and paste all right so now let's see how that looks like so whenever we over we see this is changing all right that's making sense now add a bit of transition to make it look more smoother so uh i'm going to look uh transition all 0.3 let's just say more smoother okay to make it look smoother all right 
um almost mood <laughs> whichever it is so transition i'm going to target all the properties though basically what we're just targeting is background color 0 0.3 seconds for the transition duration and then uh we're going to put is in out which is let's see so we can see this is looking nice okay this is looking nice and then when we click on this okay this is fine this is fine this is fine this is fine now we still need to style this to make it look a bit better so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say my details and then i'm going to target the div okay and then i'm going to change the background 10 pixels and then 20 pixels all right that works and then border radius i'm going to add a border radius we've been using 10 so let's make use of let's make use of that all right so then the next thing is we're going to increase the line height so i don't like the way it's it's looking a bit too um i don't know compacted too clumped so all right let's adjust that so i'm going to add a line height okay so let's see should we had two that should work fine okay let's see now all right now we can see it looks better looks better all right so we can add a line height of two and then margin bottom let's add the margin bottom of let's see 40 pixels that should work fine that is just to add a bit of space now whenever we um open our accordion we can see that the margin is what we still basically have the margin we added for this summary tag so let's actually add a margin button bottom to actually bring this a bit aha uh -huh. you see now there is a more space right here there's more space right here so that's basically what i was aiming at now this basically works fine this works fine and work well now you are basically done with this now just a little bit of thing left just one tiny thing you might not necessarily add this okay so the last thing i just want to add to make it look better is just change the font so i'm just going to paste in this all right it's just a particular font uh co -O from google front and it's actually um a font i've fallen in love with and i've used in like about two different projects so let's see i'm going to select something like all right and then the first i'm going to add as my option is going to be co -O right here the name right here is right here so just copy this and then just paste it and then let's see okay so now let's check it out all right now this is looking better wow look at that ah this is heavenly goodness okay this is looking nice and then everything is looking good all right so um i'm going to basically upload this particular code into onto this um repo i just created now on github so you can just copy it and modify it and then begin to use it dissect it um whatever it is you want to do with it please if you enjoy this particular video do not hesitate to give it a thumbs up subscribe and don't forget to follow us on all of our, all of our social media channels um the link will be in the description below so thank you very much and i'll see you in the next video peace out